Hello fellow space fans, and this is Demo, and welcome to this video, this is on Fractured. This game's called Fractured, and it's made by Edge Case Games Limited, and it's free to play on Steam, uh, or through their website, and uh, yeah, it's as you, as you may be able to figure out, it is a space faring game. It, uh, you have variation, you have a selection of ships you see down here. I haven't at the moment managed to buy any ships because you need, you need this P credit. Um, which I've only managed to get 160 credits, sorry, platinum credits. And, uh, yeah, um, or you can buy it, uh, with 100 uh, or with normal game credits, uh, 110 credits, you can actually buy the ships. So anyway, um, what basically this is, is it's a, um, a combat based game where you control it via your mouse and keyboard. So you have various different um, uh, controls and just to give you more of an idea let's go for I'm gonna do a solo map and we're going to do the conquest because I've done that one before um, and yeah it's, it, it is a quite interesting game um, as I said it's free to play but there is also the thing of micro transactions in in here uh, so you so as you see you've got various different ships you've got Pioneer, the Colossus, uh, and all these other ones are locked because I haven't managed to get them. Um, so I've got difference between the Pioneer and the Colossus, so I can choose. So I've choose the Colossus before, so I'll choose that one again. That one's a mean little ship. It's a heavy defense, so it's more like a cruiser. Um, that's more like a destroyer. Uh, so, yep. So we'll select ready. And then the computer will choose various different ships that they can get. Uh, once we're done now, we'll click ready. They'll all click ready. And we're off. So give it just a minute to actually load up. Um, yeah, and um, there's many different features this, of this game. It's more of a strategic sort of um, space game where you have to take over st strategic points on the map. So, as you see here, we're in our home base. We've got the enemy base up at the top. Beta 2, Beta 1, beta Alpha 1, Alpha 2, uh, we've got Gamma, and these are the different points where you need to uh, get. Uh, so, just wait till the timer. Right, so, right, so first thing we need to do, oops, we need to press the map button and we can transport through to these various different points or these ones all the ones highlighted in white so we'll transfer to that one oh we could have gone to gamma but never mind but oops right so You've got these mining stations, so what you basically need to do is you need to take over the mining stations and all you need to do to all you need to do that is just stay in the force of influence, which is the shield. So this is a quite slow ship. Um but we'll get there. And as you see the space battle's already started. So let's destroy this ship. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. We control the line. That's a great start. 
Ooh, and here we went to that bloody mining thing then. Right. Uh, where's that ship gone now? Ah, oh, there it is. Right. So let's destroy this ship. Oh. Oh, got level two. It's alright. Oh, he's taking over the bloody mining part now. Let's destroy it. Some of these ships take a lot of um, damage to kill them, especially big cruisers. Like I've got the big destroyers, sorry. Uh, whoa. Shit, I'm getting attacked here now. Oh god, this is a bit hard. Oh, got a bit stuck there. <laughs> That's good. Take this guy out. Hang on. Let's just upgrade me weapons while I can. Whoa, that was a uh, not very good really plan. Um, well, let's. Let's uh, mend the ship, let's repair the frigging ship. And as you see, most of the power-ups on the bottom... Um, most of the power-ups have, uh, have their own time countdown. So let's just get Skull to Gamma. I don't worry, I will. So, ooh, let's see if I can get this bloody. Sh oh, he's disabled me bloody engines. Disabled the ship then. Temporarily. Whoa! Oh yeah. Try not get destroyed. That's it. That's how you take him down. Right. That's so. I think 
we should have gamma now. Should wear. Yeah, I think we have gamma. Let's go over to Beta. Let's try and destroy these. Oh, See, as you see, I'm still trying to learn how to the bloody controls. Not killing much, but never mind. Oh, did manage to kill him. Somebody else did. Destroyed one. Uh, so I need to take this out because that will stop them. Jesus, I'm getting the ass whoops. Come on, somebody bloody help me. Oh, sod it. I took on a bit too many as, um, and a bloody light. It's a better shit. Oh, where's that son of a...
Get that little mining dock. Where is it now? Ah, yeah. See, the miners, the mining stations are important because you you're able to get uh, resources and it enables you to upgrade your ship better, uh, much faster. Um, because as you see, as the indication at the top. Next to the blue icon, that's my mining score. So you can actually uh, keep a track of how you do it. Um, right, let's just go back to my thing and upgrade my ship again. Just tell me to do so. I might do defense at this time. Oh no. Bloody hell. Right, um right, let's see. Oh no, you can't, can you? Right. Take that bloody transport station up here. Enables me to go faster the boost a little bit. <laughs> yep, and uh, they're taking over the uh, enemy station. Somebody's taking over one of the mining. We've lost jump access. For now. We've got ships in their base. Yeah, that's what I need. I need jump access. Gonna get destroyed. Let's go for defense. Because it'll give me a better, hopefully better armor. Right. Now. We can. Oh no, we can't, can we? Right. Uh, we can go there, though. Yeah, 
Alright, the uh... Ah, oh, there he is. Was, uh, that was a good Western shoot out. Gamma three is ours. Enemy jump routes open for all survivors. <laughs> that could have gone. One of our freighters. Either or way. now um yeah 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 victory. there we go we've had victory right so that gives you an idea of the intensity of the game and that's just playing against the computer um sorry against the ai i haven't actually played this online but it is supposed supposed to be quite intense at the moment i'm just trying to uh, get handle of the controls but from what i have experienced of this game this is a quite interesting and very addictive game i mean i, I was playing it ooh, quite a lot last yesterday through two early hours in the morning so Right, and yep, as you see, every single time you you can get promoted. So now I'm a group captain. Um, so I've got, I think it's level four or three, four, level four. And uh, yep, just to run through the little bit of um, the stats on screen. As you see there, you've got your uh, you've got your your uh, different stats. So you've got your def uh, your attack, your defense, your uh, utility, and your mobility. Uh, you've got your difficulty setting here. So I'm set it on the lowest because I'm s still trying to uh, learn the game. And you've got your USS USR default skin but you can choose many different skins that you want there's absolutely loads of them well there's um what well, there's four up to now but they probably will be more or uh, i'm probably missing out on a few that i can unlock there is uh packs for this by the way if you click on store you get uh so you can get the unlimited pack for 17 for about 80 quid um to be honest with you i don't know if it's um if it's worth it really on this type on these types of games because um depending on how long these packs last you could in essence be throwing me money on the way down the drain but i can understand people buying these sorts of packs so i wouldn't i wouldn't say not buy the packs i just say it depends on a um case by case basis there is um steam packs so you can see there so you've got the starter pack 
you've got the endurance pack, you've got the fleet pack, and you've got the ultimate skin pack. Now, um, now, for what the packs include, I don't necessarily think it, I mean, it probably is a quite a big advantage, especially if you can start um, buying your own ships and stuff like that. I mean, some of the ships on here look absolutely amazing. And, uh, oh yeah, yeah, this is made by, uh, this is uh, using the Unreal Engine. So as you see, it's high graphics, very high detail, um, not very taxing on the, on the system. Um, I will put the system requirements in the description below. And you've also got your live entry. So every single time you win or do a match, you get like the drop pods. You can get credits every single day. And you get a time credit boost as well at, uh, every seven days, I think it is. Um, you've also got your skins, which you can buy out of credit that you buy with real money. That's why I don't reckon that these sort of microtransactions are worth it. I mean, they possibly are, but, you know, you never know. It's just a skin, really, if, if it gives you no better advantage. Uh, and then you've got the ships. You've got absolutely tons of ships. Um, that Watchman looks quite tasty. Um... And, uh, yeah, the Predator looks, Protector, sorry, looks quite interesting. That looks like the, um, the, Peg the Pegasus out of, um, Battlestar, uh, sorry, um, Wing Commander. Yeah, that does look like the Pegasus. Um, yeah, so there's, there's, there's quite a bit of influence from other, uh, games and other other franchises. Um, right. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this um, look at this game. This, as I said, this is a free to play game, so you can download it, you can try it yourself, you can try it online, and if you like it, then possibly maybe beneficial to you to get one of the starter packs at least i mean it's only six pound um or i think it's about eight euro uh eight dollars um so yeah anyway thank you for watching and this has been demo and i hope you enjoyed this video um right that's it thank you for watching and uh please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time on another video. But for now, bye for now. Bye. Thank you for watching this video. Why not subscribe for more?